Good morning, this is Leslie Doyle at the Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this morning, uh, we're going to show you how we deal with the insects uh, that we found living under our weeds here in the garden. We're getting ready to plant our fall veggies, and when we pulled out our alyssum and spurge and other things here, we found a whole nest of beetles and uh, roly-polies and other things that will nibble our new new uh, transplanted seedlings. So we're going to show you how we deal with those. Here's Timba and he's got a bowl of food grade diatomaceous earth and uh, uh, he's going to uh, he's going to kill the bugs with it. We like this because it kills the bugs through injuring them instead of by poisoning them. When you poison insects they tend to build up a resistance uh, to that poison and uh, it's hard to kill the future generations. Okay, Timba, show us how you're going to do this. We know that when uh, Timba lifts the weeds, the bugs are going to roll, uh, crawl out of it and they're going to try and get back into the soil. So we're doing a border. So as they, as they run out uh, and try to get back into the garden, They'll have to run through the DE, and when they do, it'll get on their bodies and it'll cut them. If it doesn't cut them, uh, they'll lick it off, if they have tongues. <laughs> and uh, when they do and they, and they ingest it, it'll cut them up in the inside and they'll die. And if, they're, uh, if their babies eat them back at the nest, if they make it back to the nest, uh, the babies will die too. So we think this is a cool insect killer. Now when he gets that sprinkled on the top of the weeds, he's just going to shake it a little bit and distribute the DE through the weeds. And then he's going to carefully pick up the weeds and put them in to the trash can. Let's see if we can see some little buggies coming out of here. Oh, there's a little guy running. I don't know if you can see this, the, but um, but they're there. But they're there, and they're and they're they're on the move. And when all of the weeds are are in the can, we'll do a little sprinkling of the the food grade diatomaceous earth on top of the weeds. Uh, this would be good to put in your compost pile. Um, I don't have a place to compost here anymore. I have a company that makes my compost and turns it into tomato lady soil. So um, this will uh, go into the landfill by means of the trash company. Yes, there's a whole bunch of them crawling here. And uh, they'll die. They'll run through it and they'll die. So that uh, takes care of a good uh, portion of them. We're going to treat a nest of bugs that's growing under this, that uh, is living underneath this plant. And it's nice and cool and shady there. So of course that's where they'd want to be. So in order to kill them, we're circling the plant with the dry DE. And then uh, Timba will lift the plant and uh, blast them with the dry DE as they scamper away. This is a very good way to kill squash bugs. Um, some people will use a board and the, and the squash bugs will crawl under the board. But when you lift the board, they tend to run. So uh, the DE and the board is a good way to go. If you don't have a board, this works too. It's important to remember that the uh, diatomaceous earth works to kill the insects when it's dry. Uh, whether you're spraying it on the backs of the leaves to kill insects on the plant or putting it on the ground. Uh, it has to dry or be dry to kill the insects. This is Leslie Doyle at the Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I hope you enjoyed and find useful my little video on how we take care of insect pests uh, safely safe for us. Thank you.
If you're having problems growing vegetables or tomatoes in your desert garden, I would, uh, I would like to suggest buying either one of my books. Uh, this is how I garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I feel that if you do what I do, you should have the same success that I have. Huge tomatoes and an abundance of them all summer long. Great vegetables all year long. You can pick food every day of the year.